Hi there everyone, welcome back again to iPad Essential. In this video, we will talk about Liquid Text. Liquid Text is an advanced document reading and annotation tool designed to enhance the way we interact with digital content. In this video, we're going to review and cover inside our iPad. Although it is also available for Macintosh and Windows platform. And in this video, we're going to cover five aspects of it which is unified workspace, interactive annotation, then freehand inking, document interaction, and mind mapping. So without further ado, let's jump into our iPad screen. And there we go. Now we are in our iPad. And if you have not installed Liquid Text, then we can quickly go to our App Store. And in App Store, uh, we need to look for Liquid Text. Okay, so let me quickly type Liquid text let's hit enter and there we have it so you need to look for this software and here we can see quick glimpse of it and what are different different possibility and capability of this software okay so after we install let's click here on open and here we can see this is the main page of liquid text Liquid Text allow users to import multiple documents, including PDF, Word, PowerPoint file into a single workspace. Okay, so uh, what we can do here is we can create our own workspace by importing different different type of document. Even we can also take pictures. Now let me click here on open file and then from here I can choose any file whichever I would like to you know annotate or update or you know would like to work with. So here I have open one such file and not only you can open one file but you can import multiple document as I was mentioning. So let me add another document here by clicking on add document and then again I'm gonna go here uh, to document file and let's place this one i'm gonna click again open and there we go so here we can see we have two different documents now being imported in this workspace which uh, we can you know make it large or small based on our requirement so on the left hand side here we can see this document and on the right hand here we can see empty space which I would say is really useful because whenever we create interactive annotation here, users can keep those sections toward right. Okay. So let me make this section a little bit big and I'm going to collapse this left hand section. Now let's start annotating. Um, so let me start with this highlighter, which is about this quick win paradox and let's say this is very important section which i would like to create a note of i can highlight it and then i also can uh, click here can select it like this and then also can pull it out so let's start with annotating this document here some important line so let's say i would like to highlight the thing so here i have selected this highlighter now i can use my apple pencil to select the required highlighted text now uh, let me select this pencil tool and let's say this is very important for me so what i can do here is i can circle it around and then i can write something here that uh, you know very important point now even though let's say i took it like this and it is not visible to me anytime if i click on it here uh, I can see my comment that I have made here. Okay. So in this way, guys, we have created our first link. Now uh, let's go down. And this time what I'm going to do here is again, I'm going to uh, select this portion. And this time I'm going to take it out the whole extract. And in this way also, uh, we can create the link. Okay. So in this way guys also you can take out some of a very important para or expect that you think is really very useful now let's say you not only want to link this piece of information with this but also from top paras so what here i can do is i can basically zoom it vertically 
and here we can see the way everything is being squeezed and now you can also form another connection with it like this so now here we can see it is not only linked to this particular paragraph but also with this so basically in this way we have created uh, multiple links with a piece of information and not only you can create a link here but also i believe if i copy this link and if i expand it and go to this presentation i can also connect this link to another document okay so um here you can see we have connected this piece of information with two different document now not only here we can highlight or encircle content or link it but uh, we can also annotate for example uh, just like any handwriting note taking application uh, we can underline something and then uh, we can write uh, this is a very important point and this i would say is really helpful when let's say uh, you are doing brainstorming you are reading something and you would like to mention certain features about that particular line or that particular thing let's say if you do not need it then anytime you can use rubber and in this way we will able to break the link of this written text and then this line so in this way you can also remove the link if required now the liquid text also comes with other additional functionality for example if you want to squeeze certain lines you can do that by zooming in and zooming out by with the help of two fingers now let's see how we can add type notes here so uh, i would like to annotate this particular line and then um, i'm gonna click here on comment so here i can uh, you know type also this is about store manager Okay. so here we can see uh, this is the way we can also provide comment we can also drag it out and can put it here and then uh, you can see how it is linked you can also keep it in the tip of your pdf which i would say one of the neatest way i saw to add comment in any pdf now this time what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a manual text box outside without selecting anything let's click on it and there we go so here in this placeholder you can also see that this is powered by ai command so let me uh, come up with the keyboard here and let's see what kind of ai command it come up with and to start any command what we need to do here is we need to type forward slash and there we go here we can see ai document analysis and then um, some of command like ask ai a question about the document so let me click on it and here we can see um, we can ask question here okay so i'm gonna say who is loretta okay so loretta was one of example mentioned in this document now i'm gonna click on return now before we start here we can see it the whole document required to be indexed and um, some of not so good thing about it it is you know paid this particular feature and that too despite you already have purchased liquid text and also i didn't saw any option here since i am already using paid version of chat gpt if i could have utilized that directly that would be even better so i really do not understand why somebody need to pay additional despite they are paying so much for this app so that is i would say one of negative point of liquid text so in this way guys we can ask questions and obviously seems like the writing tool is working here so uh, you can utilize writing tools as well but not here uh, yeah not here it is applicable but it is applicable inside this text box which is great i would say because writing tool as we know is free and a part of apple intelligence and as i showed you before users not only can create these notes and excerpts but also they can organize these excerpts and can create a mind map okay so here we can see we have created these few excerpts 
now what i can do here is i can also connect them together by creating mind map so in this way guys not only we can create these extracts but also we can connect them together like this as i was showing you by just drawing ink link connecting various extracts and notes and then obviously i was just interacting too much more with this particular document but as i said that you know we can import multiple document and also create inter documented link as well now uh, let me go back here on my first one and here also i can see what are the different annotation i have created so uh, here i have created a highlighted view on the top we can also utilize search functionality to search inside this document for example i would like to search for business term here so let me enable keyboard now i'm gonna type here business and let's click on search so here i can see at nine different places i was able to find the business term so this was a very quick overview of this awesome pdf annotation tool inside ipad and as i said before it is not only available for ipad but you can also utilize it in macintosh and windows and believe me guys this software provide one of the best annotation experience all across different platform and now let's jump into computer screen and i'm going to show you different different plans it comes with and now we are in our computer screen and let me type here liquid text and there we go so here is the application and here we can see in the background the way we can utilize it let's click on pricing so this application as we can see here comes in following configuration which is a one-time purchase or owning it or renting it and then paying per month subscription fee now here we can see these are the features which we're going to get with basic version which is we can do all basic annotation note taking and mind mapping which is awesome guys because you can do all this thing for free then comes the pro version which covers everything basic which is the following and then these are some of additional features for example inking right anywhere multi document project as we saw in our case we have imported two different document then um, we can connect anything to anything so cross linking probably is not possible in the basic or free version then uh, we can see it also offer tagging real time ocr and so on then if we talk about live version the biggest benefit i see here is it offers 1 gb of project storage which means that if you store your document in cloud then it really doesn't matter whether you are assessing your notes in ipad or even in another computer and then we can also see it also offer a real time sync continuous backup shared display with laptop desktop and tablet working together enhanced feature set and some of the latest feature because here we can see this perpetual version was launched in 2023 which means that the features later than 2023 may not be available for this version then here we have got this live unlimited version uh, which probably gonna make it more collaborative and one also will receive a priority support and since multiple people might be engaged here so we can see it also offer enhanced document management and enhanced feature set so based on your requirement you can choose which version you would like to go with so i would suggest go with basic one and check out seven day free trial of this software and then take decision if you liked it or not if you think that it is really worth spending this much amount of money then definitely you can go for it if not then you may check out other alternatives of it in ipad essential we keep on bringing these kind of videos so be sure to subscribe to us so that you never miss any other video related to ipad productivity and I'm going to catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.